Hello, hello, and welcome, my Scorpio Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Welcome to your seven card draw. What do I need, Reed, for this new moon in Pisces, waxing to full in Libra, March 2021? I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons. Mal, for short, they're my initials. Professional, wedge, professional, and too intuitive. Uh, president of Drawing the Circle Productions, the Archangel of Lyons, Mark Angela Lyons. But you, my dear Scorpios, may call me. Mal. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, so nice to be doing these readings actually on the day of New Moon, doing these during this, this past Dark Moon. I mean, I know it's New Moon in Pisces, uh, but we had a couple of days of the Dark Moon in Pisces there, and I'm a Pisces Moon, so you know what I'm saying. Scorpio is a little bit of uh, empathic clusterfuck. In other words, what I'm saying this past week was a nightmare, uh, but I, I've been glad to be getting my work done slow and steady wins the race. Uh, uh, let's let's get down to business before we get down to business. My book, Words of Grace, is now up on Kindle. It's lovely. Uh, I hired a millennial <laughs> to, to take the the uh, old PowerPoint version I had of it, which was like Fellini's Casanova, and he cleaned it up, and he did such a good job, made it an EPUB document, whatever the hell that is, and uh, it's up on Kindle, and it's selling, and it's lovely, and I wrote that book during A Dark Night of the Soul a couple of years ago, and it's helped a lot of people, so if you're interested, just go check it out. Link's in the description box. Uh, if you're on Kindle, you can download the Kindle app or something. I have no idea what that means. Uh, but uh, you can certainly uh, uh, watch on uh, Amazon. You can read the first couple of pages in it. Like, I think it's the first 20 pages or something uh, without buying it. So do. And uh, my I have to say, Facebook has really taken off now that I'm monetized on my Drawing the Circle Productions uh, Facebook page. Uh, doing free lectures and tarot parties, and there's a lot of classes and workshops coming, and it's really lovely. And it's Zoom format. I subscribe to Zoom, so business is good here at Drawing the Circle Productions. And as a Pisces moon, to be uh, doing uh, this reading today just feels good. It's like gone out of. Got, we're in the new now, so very very happy about that. So let's really get down to business. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. Uh, Scorpio, we are doing a seven card draw. One card from seven different uh, decks of cards. Four oracles, two tarot, one healing mantra deck. What's well, a healing system? It's on divination or oracle. To get you the clues, tips, and hints that you need for a specific timeline, we are looking at the new moon in Pisces today. Uh, uh, March 13th. It went new at uh, 5.21 a.m. Obviously, when you're watching that, this is when I am recording this. Uh, and then we are looking at a waxing moon read, right? Building, waxing, increasing to the full moon in Libra on Sunday, the 28th of March, 2.48 p.m. So uh, it's sort of like picking a card of the day, but seven of them, and not just for one day, for two weeks. <laughs> so whenever you catch this, know that's when you're supposed to catch it. Uh, but it is not a timeless read. Cool. Uh, all the decks that I read are always in the bottom of the description box. Standard YouTube reading rules apply. Take what resonates, leave what does not, and check your other signs, because we might get more information about this situation we're about to lay out on the table or another one that you need uh, to be aware of. I guess that's about it. I don't feel like explaining anymore. Do you feel like hearing any more expository uh, babble come out of my mouth? No, you came here for the intuitive juice. So let's get you some Scorps. Please take a nice deep breath. Right, the only thing I can ask from anybody watching one of my videos or, or receiving any of these reads that I do is both feet on the floor, if you can. If you can't, that's fine. Lay back, kick back. <laughs> that's fine. But focus on your breath, if you will. Stay in the present moment with me. I will do the same to get you the clarity, guidance, and grace that I can from the pantheons of the divine to which I am intimately contracted in this life to do this work. So let's get up in this big Scorps. Breathe. Healing with the Angels Oracle, Doreen Virtue, my pantheons of angels, here we go. My angels of water and the sign of Scorpios, the Gabrielites, please. Uh, healing with the Angels Oracle, Doreen Virtue, who or what is the team or legion of healing angels, this Scorpio collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus, I'm watching this video, receiving this reading. Most needs to align with, work with, read about, pray to, uh, stick in a candle, stir in their bath water, however they want to do that, however you want them to do that, this new moon in Pisces waxing to full in Libra. 
the healing angel of support. So this could very much be about your angelic support team. This is going to be about healing your support team, right? Because remember, it's the healing with the angel's oracle. What would their function be? Right? Obviously more than one there. A rather classic picture at this point in the metaphysical New Age community of the planet Earth being sort of cradled, surrounded, and protected by, in my opinion, angels, goddesses, gods, ascended masters, and the higher selves of all involved. Why not? Personalize it. <coughs> Holographically. Yeah, the vibe on this is really, really clear, my Scorpios, is that, yes, you are getting the support that you need, most likely emotionally, because you're a water sign, regardless of your other planets and placements. But that also your support team is changing in the physical world. It feels like that, well, that makes sense, right? People come and go, uh, and this past year has been nuts in that way. People literally coming and going from our lives in instants, uh, uh, both coming and going, right? They're showing people show up out of nowhere and people disappear out of nowhere. So it might be um, that you feel like your your foundation, whatever that is, uh, it does feel more um, emotional, physical than, than mental, spiritual here. But know that if this is the angel you need to call upon, it is a what do I need read, then the prayer might be something as simple as, all right, healing angels of support, heal my support systems and support me in my healing, whatever that may take for the well-being of all. So I'm be, hallelujah, pass the ammunition, however you end your prayers, right? Something as simple as that, because we all need support, right? And maybe you are in support of others as well and can use some healing supporting them. So we're going to stay with the angelic theme here. We're using um, the crystal oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. The reason why I say it's angelic is because I dedicated this deck to Archangel Ariel, one of the three archangels of the north. There's Ariel, there's Uriel, and there's Oriel, but Ariel, <coughs> powers of the earth, right? Uh, direction of the north is the archangel of lions, and I'm Mark Angela Lyons, so, you know, you run with it. Or you fly with it, breathe. Because I love her so much. I love my beautiful lioness of God. That's what Ariel means, the lioness of God. My last name's Lions. Please, uh, one card in clarity, my beloved Archangel Ariel, for the Scorpio Collective watching this video, receiving this reading. What is their crystal oracle message? Either what's written in the book, maybe they work with the stone, maybe they need to get the stone, whatever that is, they'll know that. It's a general read. So what is their crystal oracle, my beloved, this uh, new moon in Pisces waxing to full in Libra for the Scorpios? A lapis lazuli, one of the... Uh, stones in the breastplate of the high priest. Look that one up. That's pretty scriptural. Uh, Lapis Lazuli. I always thought if I had a daughter, I would name her Lapis Lazuli. No, I wouldn't. Uh, keywords, protection, power, and expansive thinking. And certainly, I've worn plenty of Lapis on my third eye, opening up the clairvoyant portals and then trying desperately to shut it back down afterwards. Uh, lapis lazuli is a highly spiritual crystal that helps cut through illusions and expands your thinking in ways that serve to empower you. Now that right there, you know, if you wanted to take a piece of lapis, and by the way, make sure you're not buying sodalite. Uh, lapis usually has some pyrite in it, makes it look like it has some gold in there. Uh, they really are not the same stone, but I've had to be look at my beautiful piece of lapis. I'm like, honey, that's so delight. And if you hold a piece of either in, in each hand, you'll feel the difference, right? There's even a, a sense of density difference there. Uh, uh, it is so cutting through illusions, right? Take a, take a lapis and just that, talk about Archangel Michael vibe there, that cobalt blue in the third eye and the throat chakra. Right? Clear me, break chains of illusion and set all things to right. Reveal what has been hidden and bring the truth to light. <laughs> they wish they had me writing on Charmed. Uh, is it not time to let go of an outmoded way of thinking or belief system which no longer serves you? Now remember, this is about your support system in some, in some way with that healing angel of support. Remember, you are eternally protected. There's nothing to fear. So just be yourself. You will soon find yourself thinking outside the square, and in doing so, you will begin to unlock your true and unique potential. Uh, be a leader, not a follower. Dare to be different, W-L-I-R, and uh, success is yours. I know somebody just screamed watching this video from Long Island or the greater New York area, who's Generation X. Uh, you have the ability to mentally and emotionally rise above all you encounter in life, 
and in doing so, a clearer picture emerges. So that's great. Protection, power, and expansive thinking here. It might be that your support group is changing and you need help with that. You need some healing with that. I've had it happen. <laughs> what does Matt Kahn call it? old friend yard sale, right? Where people just like fucking leave your life in droves because you've outgrown them, but you are where they are and they will be where you are. It's, we're all one, right? So there may be some of that of seeing outside of the box, thinking outside the square, which is a nice way of saying that too. I like that, right? To expand your boundaries, right? That clarity, but there's something there about seeing through illusion as well. Because Scorpio, I love y'all very much, but y'all can hide some shit, right? You can absolutely keep some emotions hidden in your feelings and that can cloud your perception over time. That's what shadow work is all about. Let's face it. You're the sign of shadow work. Let's keep going. Uh, uh, tarot narrative time. We'll do Daughters of the Moon Tarot to see what you need to be aware of inside of yourself. Heart, third, third eye crown. We'll follow that up with the mythic tarot. What you need to be aware of in your physical uh, world. Root, sacrum, solar plexus. Please take a nice deep breath. Hmm. One more. I'm both feet on the floor. I know. I tell them to do it, then I forget. Ah, and I forgot to turn the heating off. I'm sorry. That's going to add a little extra white noise. I hope you find it meditative. Breathe. <sighs> Checklists. Oh, here we go. My goddesses of water. There you are. And the sign of Scorpio. Yes, yeah, snapped me to attention. Please. One card in clarity. For the Scorpio Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, watching this video, receiving this reading. Third card down, Daughters of the Moon, Tarot. What do they need to be aware of inside of themselves? Heart, third, third eye crown. Psychological power, emotional power, power of choice, mental power, spiritual power of the crown chakra. With this lapis lazuli, in tandem with the healing angel of support that they need, this new moon, Pisces. Waxing to full in Libra. Right, so then the full moon after that will be Scorpio. Uh, uh, this new moon to full moon next. Well, Ten of Cups. Shit. Ecstasy, bliss. Now people immediately want to jump to, oh, my true love. Uh, maybe. Uh, but then you're feeling it, right? This is hard third, third eye crown. Maybe you need some support for that kind of emotional currency running through you. Current and currency. It's a fun word, two words to play with, right? What is your emotional current? What is the vibe of that right now? Because Ten of Cups feels good. Very expansive emotionally, but do you have the support system you need to handle that? Uh, I have moments of mystical bliss, <laughs> reveling in the love of the mother of all, and I mean all. She said to me, before the Tao, there was me. I was like, what? <laughs> right? <laughs> Brain implosion brought to tears of love and compassion and feeling the love of all that is, right? You know, it's a mystical thing. You're one of the mystical signs. All signs can be mystical, mind you. Uh, but Scorpio and Pisces in particular, I will say, have uh, a bit more stock invested than the other ten signs. Uh, uh, the subconscious and the unconscious mind, the underworld and all this stuff. So what's going on inside of you that you need to be aware of here? And that you definitely need the support system to feel it. Like, don't hand your bubble to bubble poppers. I had to learn that the hard way. I come from, like, teachers and lawyers and stuff. Here I am, this lovely Pisces moon. <laughs> Mystical, magical child. I saw this. Well, there's no such thing as that. Move on. <laughs> it didn't work. Yeah, and they're kind of happy it didn't. Now I'm the fun one. Let's see what this looks like on the outside. Mythic Tarot, please take a nice deep breath. I am the fun one, you too. It's true. Of all the readers, you're fine. You're not going to find anybody else like me. It's fine. I don't have 10 billion subscribers. I'm okay with it. I'm, uh, I'm getting my work done. I'm meeting a lot of cool people. Please take a nice deep breath yet again. Got it anyway. Oh. Okay. My guy, once again, snap me right to attention. Please, my gods of water and the sign of Pisces. One card in cl uh, Pisces. Gods of Water and the Signs of Scorpio, please. One card in clarity for the Scorpio Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Watching this video, receiving this reading, what is it that they need to be aware of in their outside world? Perhaps so they appear from the outside looking in, or some physical aspect of what we've got here on the table with Lapis Lazuli, the Healing Angel of Support, and the Ten of Cups, Ecstasy, Inanna's House of Heaven. 
on the inner. What do they need to be aware of with all of this, this new moon in Pisces waxing to full in Libra, March 2021. Seven of Cups. So yeah, you got lots of options. You may have some confusion about that. Not so much the moon card level of confusion. And I don't want to keyword this. This does feel specific, yet vague. What a paradox, right? So <coughs> inside of you, you've got this, this overflow and a good overflow. Your cups are literally uh, running over. And yet in the outside there, this might very much be about the... Um, I don't want to say just the visualization of, but the dreams that you have of different things in your life. Now, this is a, a, a psyche going to uh, Aphrodite to beg forgiveness to um, because she betrayed, kind of, sort of, her husband, Cer uh, Psyche's husband, Psyche, Cersei, blah, 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 rah, 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 Psyche, Cersei, rah, 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 uh, um, uh, Eros, her, uh, Aphrodite's son. Long story. It's a really good myth. Um, and she says, well, you, you you broke his trust, my darling. So if you want him back, here's what you have to do. And she gave her a list of things that were essentially impossible tasks. But they end up married at the end, and she gets her wings, so to speak. <laughs> Mile High Club. Uh, so this is her in that prayer and asking, I hope, I hope, please, but if I could, what what do I have to do? I, 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 I didn't mean to betray him. It's a long, it's a long and ancient myth there, but that's the feeling. Like there's almost like this emotional quest calling you forward, and you might need a new support system for it if it's outside of the boundaries of what people are used to with you, right? And I could understand you maybe not communicating this right away to people, but this could even be these seven cups, each one having a bit of a different flavor emotional pull to you. But, all right, this is what they're saying, but know that this this feeling inside of you comes from your soul. It's not dependent on this. Intuitively, you may be very, very, very clear, but here's, wow, this is specific, I think, for a lot of people. But when you're flying high emotionally, that's a mixed metaphor, swimming deep emotionally, whatever, surfing those waves, having a really good time, your cup overflowing, and you make some decision, you choose one of these options, this feels more like a choice than a life-changing decision, and then later, when you're having a bad day, you look back and go, oh, why did I do that, why did I do that? Never expect to see from the bottom of the valley what you saw from the peak of the mountain. It's all about perspective, emotions shift and change, and I think that's why to remember a very much a third eye stone that as intense as this amount of water is going on inner and outer, that this is about protection certainly, but uh, uh, seeing expansion, seeing that larger picture, and seeing through any illusion or truth, uh, to, to see, to seek only truth, the sacred truth of the third eye, blah, blah, blah. Let's keep going. This is good. This makes sense. Uh, Healing Mantra Deck by Matt Kahn would be very helpful with the Lapis Lazuli uh, to have a mantra to work with. Uh, so let's see uh, what this one is going to be. The Voices of the Ascended Masters. I'm not feeling this is necessarily purely soul contract, so we'll just do General Assembly and we'll see what else hits. Breathe. Mm, yeah, my Ascended Masters. Oh, God, such a different vibe. My Ascended Masters. I think they're all lounging. <laughs> chilling out up there. One card in clarity for the Scorpio Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun. Watching this video, receiving this reading. What is their perfect healing mantra? That would be perfect for them to work uh, with this Lapis Lazuli. Uh, praying to, working with the healing angels of support that they need. Being aware of the ecstasy that they need to. And these Seven of Cups options in front of them. Uh, what is the healing mantra that would most help them heal? this new moon in Pisces waxing to full in Libra March 2021 grounding my energy it is safe to be in my body it's a great mantra you know ground yourself ground yourself at one point I was like recommending people put fucking hematite in their socks when they would take my classes and workshops it's like no we're here now be here now right uh, but it's a great mantra. It is safe to be in my body, which also really, by the way, backs up something 
why they're giving this to me. Maybe you're a mystic. Maybe you've worked Course in Miracles. But Course in Miracles says love and fear is a difference between a spirit identification or body identification. Because if you're a spirit that has a body, that's why it is safe to be in my body. There's difference between saying body is something I have and body is something I am, right? To be spirit identified, you're eternal, you're immortal. Much easier to see the larger picture and not be freaked out by everything that happens. So it is safe to be in my body. And man, what a tr it's gonna bring stuff up for sure. But this does kind of even talk about being so grounded in your body that you're in not just your intuition, your instinct. Like your gut feelings are different than your heart chakra emotions. They're downloading like crazy for you all. Grounding my energy, it is safe to be in my body. When your energy is grounded, you are no longer wrestling with the pain of the past or chasing after potential future outcomes. I can prove it. Even if right now, if your feet are on the floor, whatever, just feel your feet on the floor. What do your feet feel like from the inside with your feet on the floor? Where'd the past and the future go? You're here, right? So this is saying, like, even that right now, whatever, if you're watching a video on YouTube, you're safe right now, most likely. Uh, so interesting. Uh, you dare to demonstrate your very best attributes and qualities, no matter how you are perceived or received by others. And I feel like that has to do with that healing angel of support. It might be, it's like, no, I'm, I'm going to be authentic to who I am. I can't not do this, right? I can't pretend anymore. And maybe that's what some of this emotional stuff is. Some of your options might be, well, I could continue to just keep this hidden. And, and I, I don't think that's a really good idea for a waxing moon. Um, with your energy grounded, your mind can relax as your body becomes a more enjoyable environment to inhabit. This mantra is ideal for replacing compulsive thoughts. Not really seeing that here, but with that lapis lazuli, that could certainly help with that. Releasing addictive behaviors and finding stability. Interesting. And we only have two tarot downs. So it's like, oh, you don't have any earth cards. It's only two, but they're both water and you're a water sign. So keep an eye on that. The big difference between intuitive feeling in the lower chakras and, and the creative intuition of the heart throat, third eye crown. And then the visionary intuition of the eighth chakra, right? All right, uh, whispers of love oracle, voices of the higher selves of all involved. And honestly, this might very well include some people in your, you know, you'll have a support system that'll always be with you, right? You have support systems, people in your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. It feels like a bunch are leaving for a reason and that were there for a reason or a season, but you still have your lifetime ones there and new ones are coming in reason and season. I believe, I'm feeling, I'm sensing, breathe. The higher selves of all involved, please, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above, <coughs> excuse me, a little dry in here, I'm gonna put on the humidifier. One card in clarity for the Scorpio Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. There you are watching this video, receiving this reading. Please, what is their whisper of love? A piece of information, inspiration, or insight they need in tandem with lapis lazuli, support, ecstasy, seven of cups, grounding my energy, it's safe to be in my body. What's their whisper of love oracle, this new moon in Pisces waxing to full to Libra? Spend some quality time together. Now I'm just gonna say that could be with the angels of support too. But let's see, it is in here. I'm going to show you the picture because the lighting is so bright, like you could even see it. Uh, spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationship with, listening and talking with each other. See, I feel like there's a conversation coming here. Not like an intervention thing, but it kind of has that vibe a little bit of it's like, it's like coming out. I did it one at a time. I did not sell tickets to my original coming out party. <laughs> elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist, wrist. I was not a debutante. They wouldn't let me. I'm in New York. And a guy. Uh, uh, and I was, it was the 80s. Uh, spend some quality time. It feels like there's a heart to heart that's going to go down here. And it feels like it's with more than one person. And it feels like it's going to affect more than one people. More than one people? More than one person. Um, 
but it is as a result of this real overflowing of emotion. And yes, you have options, but the thing is, is you may not feel safe. It is safe to be in my body. Maybe you fear these people will leave you. Of course, I don't know, I'm getting a lot of Course in Miracles for y'all today. It's brilliant work, but really not the easiest thing in the world, which is why it's the Course in Miracles. Um, we think that if people see who we are, they will re recoil in horror. This is a paraphrase. But the truth is, if they see how oh, you truly is, I would love you. So it does feel like there's a sort of like self-outing process here. And that might be the sharing of something that might not be uh, anything more than saying, I've had a vision and I see this and things are changing and I'm healing. And it feels so good. It feels so right. My, my cup runneth over. This is a card of joy. And if you've been doing the self-love stuff, <laughs> it's not too general, is it? The self-love healing yourself. Louise Tay, Shakti Gawain, Matt Kahn, Hay House authors. <laughs> right? You know, heart chakra work, inner child work. This could certainly be a, a real revelation of, of the authenticity of how you feel about something. But spend some quality time together. This doesn't feel like this is a text message. This feels like this is a full-blown conversation. Right? Listening and talking to each other. So this isn't even one way. Like, just like that image of, <laughs> of an intervention. <laughs> it just has that look to it, if not that feel to it. You come home and there are folding chairs. Turn and run! <laughs> Scorpio, I hope you get the sense of humor that I put out on this channel on the consistent because if you knew what my day was like, <laughs> please. Probably do. Please, please take a nice deep breath. Last card down. <clears throat> Dairy and my coffee. My pantheons of love, please, through the Whispers of Love Oracle. What is our final card down here for the Scorpio Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, I'm watching this video, receiving this reading, oh angels, archangels, goddesses, gods, ascended masters of love and their own higher selves, and the higher selves perhaps of all involved here. What is it, the their Whisper of Love Oracle, that they need, considering they need Lapis, they need support, they need ecstasy, well, they have it inside of themselves, right? They need that Seven of Cups to be clarified, they need to ground their energy, feeling safe in their body, and they need to spend some quality time together with someone or someones. So what's their Oracle message here, this new moon in Pisces to full moon in Libra, March 2021? Interesting. Beware of what you are projecting. Oh, snap. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess, and that is true. I think if everybody just took a minute and said, who is my favorite celebrity? Like, if I could hang out with, make out with, whatever, you know, <laughs> Dave Grohl. Uh, what is it? <laughs> totally Dave Grohl. I know he's married. I know he's married. I want to hang out with him. I'm going to kiss him. <laughs> but I won't, because he's married. Boundaries. Choices. Um, but, like, they, they are mirroring back to you, right? You're projecting onto them some magnificent quality. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. And I'm going to point you towards a video that you can find on YouTube for sure. Uh, Greg Braden, G-R-E-G-G-B-R-A-D-E-N. He's got his own channel. Uh, but the workshop that he did, God, I think back in the 90s, the seven, like the number seven, a scene, E-S-S-E-N-E, -S -S -E -E, mirrors. That, yeah, the mirroring process that people talk about, uh, if, you, if you spot it, you got it. That's the first mirror. There are seven. That's called the mirror of now. And that's when you are, and, you know, Scorpio <laughs> burn down the house and raise the village and sow salt in the earth, right? <laughs> and everything mirrors that in that day. But, you know, and uh, opposite, you're having a great day and green light, green light all the way home. Uh, but no, this, this, there are other mirrors. There's a mirror of judgment. There's a mirror of loss. So look into it. Um, but there is definitely some projection going on here, and I'm going to say maybe there's projection going on at you as well. Like, let's let's take that holographically. Because if you've got this Ten of Cups inside of you, you might not give a rat's ass if anybody really, well... And if you're keeping it hidden and they might have questions and all that stuff and might be projecting their own guilt onto you, like, what are you hiding? What are you hiding? I was like, I'm just, I'm just stating something inside of me. All right, let's have the talk. Let me put this together for you. This does make sense. And I don't think it's overly complicated. Um, 
for, for probably the majority of you, you have this really good feeling about something and you want to be supported. But don't hand your bubble to bubble poppers, right? You've got this lovely, like, ah, ooh, ooh. that won't work. <laughs> yeah, try being raised by lawyers. Which I thought would be a good name for an autobiography. Raised by lawyers, like Mowgli. <laughs> raised by bears. Wasn't he raised by tigers? Raised by bears. <laughs> Flashes of P-Town. Nice deep breath. Bear week. <sighs> My beloved pantheons of angels, goddesses, archangels, gods, uh, ascended masters, and the higher selves of all involved, please may the Scorpio Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, I'm watching this video, receiving this reading, be blessed with all that they need, this new moon in Pisces, to full moon next, that they may embrace that ten of cups, that ecstasy, that bliss within them, uh, so that they can spend some quality time together with somebody talking and listening and really understanding that there is a projection going on that they need to be aware of, knowing then that they can really ground their energy, knowing that they are safe, it is safe to be in their body, working perhaps with a piece of lapis for that expansion, for that protection, for that safety, for cutting through illusion, going, oh my god, they're just projecting onto me, I'm just projecting onto them, oh my god, we're just projecting onto each other. Huge. Human, normal, but not healthy. Uh, calling in the healing angel of support, angels of support that they need to support them through this because things are cloudy and they do have options that they need to feel out and suss out that they can do so honorably. And if this is indeed somebody coming out of some sort of closet, maybe not a sexual closet in any way, shape, or form, but really revealing something about themselves, may they be blessed with all that they need this new moon in Pisces to full in Libra, that it may be fair and balanced in that Libra, that we come to fruition at the Libra full moon under grace and in perfect ways for their well-being and for the well-being of all, so mote it be. And so it is. Yeah, rock and roll, my Scorps. Oh, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. You liked it? Thumbs up. Want more? Subscribe. Comment, comment, share. Read my book. It's $9.99 US dollars. Believe me, you will not regret it. It's really, really well written, and it's me who wrote it. It's, I, look, it is a prayer book. It is a book of prayer, kind of, sort of. But it's me. It's funny, and it's fucking gorgeous. And if you want to come party with me on Facebook, there are links in the description box as well. Otherwise, oh my god, thank you so much for watching. Wishing you all the very, very best and the very, very blessed of this new moon in Pisces. Waxing to full in Libra, March 2021. Hail, my beloved Scorpios. Farewell and blessed, blessed be.